February 4th, 1871, 41 years before Arizona was granted statehood, Maricopa County was established as a territory. The first challenge of legitimizing the county was recording documents. Since then, one word has described Maricopa County following that February day, innovation. In July, the territory's first recorder, James L. Mercer, set up the recorder's office inside Hancock's General Store. People traveled from all over the territory by horse or train to document their claims. The first document recorded was handwritten in a ledger by recorder Mercer, who is also said to have swept the floors himself. And what was the first document recorded in the territory? A notice of claim for farmland. Little did the recorder know that he was laying down the future foundation for more than four million people and counting. As the new century dawned, the industrial age was driving people from farms to cities. Meanwhile, new buildings on Saguaro Ranch brought the benefits of industry to a growing city known as Glendale. It wasn't long before the days of Maricopa County as a territory began fading away. As industries advanced the economy, Arizona entered the battle for statehood. At the end of 1910, the draft of a constitution was sent for approval by leaders of the territory so that Arizona could become a state. The Arizona Constitution formally established everything from county lines to who would be the state's official Maricopa County recorder. In 1912, Arizona was granted statehood and Vernon Vaughn would be the state's first official Maricopa County recorder. As Phoenix grew and the number of documents to record increased, Vaughn and his successors recognized a new form of technology known as microfilm, which could decrease a document's size to 4% of the original. As the 1950s dawned, Americans returned from war and made their way to the Valley of the Sun. Then, a new generation boomed and the population rose again in cities and towns across Arizona. Businesses, people, schools, this was the new Maricopa County at the midway point of the 20th century. Documents were now primarily recorded on microfilm and the paper document ledger was a tool of the past. According to the 2020 U.S. Census Bureau, 291 people moved to Maricopa County every single day over the course of a year. At least 100,000 new residents will call Maricopa County home this year. Maricopa County has come a long way since the original paper ledger and residents can now record documents from the comfort of their home. Since 1871, Maricopa County has recorded more than 52,193,965 documents. From our first recorder, James L. Mercer, to Maricopa County's first female recorder, Edith Jacobs, to our longest serving recorder, Helen Purcell, to me. I'm Stephen Richer, Maricopa County recorder. We proudly serve as the guardians of Maricopa County's records, preserving and creating Arizona history. Arizona has always been a land of possibility. Promise as wide open as the prairies that were so much a part of the landscape when Maricopa County was founded in 1871. What will our work look like in 2030 or 2040? We can't answer that, but we'll lay the groundwork to prepare for that future, and we can do that work together.